Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So if this is your first time here, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm so thankful that you are here today just checking me out. Um, if this is your, I don't even remember what video we are on, but if this is not your first time here, thank you so, 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 so much for just coming back to join me. Um, today I have a special guest, uh, just kidding. But no, I have, the Dyson and it is well yeah no this is the hair wrap the air wrap excuse me not hair wrap air wrap from Dyson basically the Dyson air wrap comes with multiple um, tool heads and it is I mean honestly it, it comes with a lot of stuff um, let me just kind of read it off the website really quick so it comes with a well two 1.2 inch air wrap barrels two 1.6 inch air wrap barrels a firm smoothing brush a soft smoothing brush round volumizing brush and a pre-styling dryer so it comes with um 10 different things so um yeah i mean it's it's a lot of bang for your buck, definitely, but I uh, the price is a little up there. It is $549.99. Yes, ma'am, you heard me right. <gasps> $550, yes. I know, my stepdad is crazy, but you know, it's fine. So my mom actually uh, got this for her anniversary on Valentine's Day. My stepdad decided that he wanted to get it for her because she's always trying to style her hair. She's pretty much the same like me. Um, really don't style her hair too much. And so he wanted to get something that was easier for her. So he saw some videos and he was like, you know what, I'm just gonna get it for her. So he got it for her. And then they recommended that I do a video about it just to kind of see if maybe you guys would want to buy it. So, or if I'm going to buy it. So, yeah, I mean, let's, without further ado, let's get into how I try to curl my hair, right? Yeah. I mean, it's pretty curl, but you guys will see. So, um, without further ado, just go ahead and stay tuned and let's check this baby out. Really quick, if you like this video so far, just go ahead and scroll down and give me a thumbs up. Yep, so let's jump into this. And also, I want to clarify that I am not a hairstylist, nor do I probably know completely what I'm doing with my hair. So I definitely need to practice and learn and just really get the gist of everything. So if I mess up at all, Excuse me. So now let's jump in. I just got out the shower not too long ago. So let's go ahead and take a dive into the Dyson. This thing is like extra heavy, like extra heavy. And this is the carrying case that comes with it. Um, I probably wouldn't carry this thing with me and just take it with me, but it is what it is. So. It first comes with like a little cover, it says Dyson, that matches, and then inside it kind of talks about just like the different ones that come with it, and just kind of gives you like a QR code so that way you can watch a little film on how to do it. And then the inside looks like this. It has like a little holder so that way the cord is like at the bottom and it's not just like thrown in there. Um, it comes with this head which is the blow drying one. It comes with four of the curling ones and they all go like different directions. So like the smaller one, these are the smaller ones. And then here are the bigger ones. And one goes like this way and then the other one goes this way so that way when you're curling it you don't have to be like flipping around. It also comes with this little brush. It dries your hair as you brush through your hair. And this one has, is for thin hair I believe. And then it also comes with this one which is for the thicker end hair. 
And then also the round brush, which I'm I'm really not sure how to use a round brush. I'm really bad at that, so that's gonna be a new experience for me. Okay, I put my hair down really quick, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this Paul Mitchell Super Skinny Serum. And I always like to put a serum in my hair just because my hair gets super frizzy whenever I style it. So I like to go in at the bottom first with most of the product because that's where my hair pretty much messes up first. It's the top, but then I go in with the rest of it just to kind of just get it through. If you want, just to kind of make sure like it's run through your hair completely, instead of just doing this, you can brush through it and that'll help it kind of just get more in your hair. But yeah, I like to have some kind of like oil or something in my hair whenever I'm doing it. Okay, now let's go ahead and separate. Okay, it's all plugged up and just for the sake of the video, I'm just going to kind of show you the different heads and kind of how they work a little bit. Like I said, I don't really know how to use the round brush, so I'm more than likely not going to use that one right. But like I said, for the sake of the video, I'm just going to kind of show you guys what they all do. So whenever you're putting in the brush heads or the head or anything, you just put it in and then right here it has like a little lock. Okay, sorry I'm like missing nails. It's, it's been hectic, but you know, it is what it is, so. Okay, so this is the brush, or the blow dryer. I'm gonna try to talk over it a little bit, but just so you can kind of see. I did hear that the blow dryer is not as strong, like this head is not as strong as the original blow dryer that you can get by itself, but I mean, it's still pretty good. I used it on Mijo's hair not too long ago, and I mean, I, I enjoyed it. It didn't get it too, 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 too dry, but it got it to where I needed it to be, so that's that was a plus. I liked it a lot. Um, next, let's see. Next is the thin hair. I do not have thin hair, so... I don't think that this would really work for me very well, but I'll just take a little piece. And you just brush through it. I'm gonna do this brush head on this side and I'm gonna do the other one on the other side so you can kind of see the difference between the two and how they kind of work this is this side let me go ahead and change the head and do the other side so you can see kind of just like what they do whenever you're switching the heads all you have to do is just hit the little lock and unlock it and then just pop your next head on there and you're good to go so let's, let me just show you guys this one. Like I said, this one is for thicker hair. So I'm not having to like run it as many times as I did the last one. Which I'm sure you can imagine would take light years compared to this one. So. Also, you probably shouldn't do your hair with hoops, but like I always say, it is what it is. Okay, so you can kind of see they both pretty much did the same job, but I don't know if you could tell this one still kind of has like the curl a little bit and this one is a little bit straighter. Pop that one off. Let me just go ahead and spray these guys back down just so that way I can get to the curling aspect of this. 
Okay, really quick before I move on to the curling part, I just wanted to kind of show you guys the round brush. Like I said before, I really don't know how to use a round brush or blow dry my hair with a round brush. So I'm just going to, for the sake of the video, show you guys how I think it is. I know that you're supposed to like, like twist it and then pull or whatever, but honestly, I don't. This part, I really don't know what I'm doing. I really don't. Okay, alright. I see where they like bring it back up and then they like brush it down. Alright. Alright. That's cute. I mean, it's frizzy, but it's cute. She's alright, you know? But yeah, I like I said before, I don't know, I don't know how to use a round brush at all. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty impressed. I even did this little curl. Okay, really quick, I'm just gonna just stamp in my hair again, just so that way we can get to the fun part, right? I'm really excited. I really hope I do this right. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna take my piece of damp hair. I'm gonna turn it on. And it's just supposed to just grab your hair. So I'm gonna let it just grab my hair. And as you go closer, it's supposed to just like grab all your hair. Right here, see it's kind of falling, so I'm just gonna fix it. This is a little warm, like right next to your ear and your head, because it's blowing all this hot air, but it's I. It's not too, too bad. So, once like you feel that your hair is pretty dry, I'm really trying to get like as close to my scalp as I can, just because I don't want the top to be messed up. But once you feel it's pretty, pretty damp or dry, you're gonna flip the power switch up, and that's gonna activate like the cooling aspect of it. And it's basically what the cooling part does is it locks the curl in place. So once it's like cool to the touch, you can turn it off. And release. Oh, hey, Shirley Temple. That's a cute little curl. That's cute. Okay, so I'm gonna do what I normally do. And each curl that I do, I try to put hairspray just because my hair always will fall out with the curls. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of hairspray. The hairspray I'm using is All Weather Aqua Nymph. My all-time favorite hairspray so I'm going to get a piece from the back and then do it again okay now let's switch sides Okay, so I'm switching to the opposite side, so it's gonna go the other way. And we're just gonna do the same thing again. Okay. Ooh, she's cute. so far these are cute little girls too this is, okay let's keep going Good night. Can I 
So I'm getting better. I'm definitely getting better at this than I was before. I just want the curls to stay just for a little bit, you know? Just so I can be like cute for five minutes. Especially just being locked up. Like maybe I could take a couple pictures or something. I don't know. I don't know. Something. Almost. I just have a couple pieces left, but I am running into where my baby hairs are just like not having it. And like the front of my hair is just really fighting me, honestly. See, like all right here it looks kind of like, I don't know, it just looks frizzy. Maybe it's a user error, but I don't like that. It's like grabbing all of this right here. Okay. Oh, okay. That was... I guess I'm gonna have to do that. Okay. Alright. Who is Farrah Fawcett? Ah, just kidding. My main complaint or biggest complaint is probably the baby hairs and the frizziness i think i sort of want to like hit the top a little bit with the flat brush like the this one Oop. Gonna, like, get right here This is pretty much, I guess, like the final look. I definitely have some practicing to do, just in general, because I'm not, I'm not good at curling my hair at all, at all. And I also feel like my hair almost doesn't like the curl sense just cuz I'm having a hard time kind of trying to keep it I don't know if you guys can tell but I'm just trying to like keep it together yeah. this is it okay so I guess you're dying to know do I like it um I like it I don't love it yet because I feel like I do need to practice a lot and I do need to work on trying to figure out my hair and just figure out a style it in general. The only other style that I have is like a bun or I do maybe maybe a ponytail. I always have damn near my hair down just just curly just like out of the shower wet just like with some mousse or some hairspray and it's just pretty simple. I don't I don't really take the time to learn how to do my hair so hopefully like while we're stuck here at home I can kind of try to figure it out and that way I don't have to be asking or paying anybody to do my hair anymore. I mean you know obviously like if I need like an updo or anything like that then I'll go to them but for the most part I want to be able to do my hair at home by myself so uh, do I think that this made it easier? Yes I do because it kind of helped me understand like the gist of curling my hair for the most part. Do I think you need this? No, I don't at all. Um, I think that a regular curler might do just fine, honestly, because prior to this, I would just normally have my sister-in-law help me and well, not really help me. She pretty much did my hair all the time, but like I said, I want to be able to do my own hair. So 
I definitely do have some work to do, but will I continue with this one? Probably not. Um, the only thing I do recommend, I do really like the, um, the brush head. This one that I was using at the end, I do like this one a lot, especially like if I'm gonna go in like pretty much just straighten my hair. If I go through it, all of it and everything, it pretty much gets it all straight. Still a tad frizzy though. That's I guess I guess that's my biggest complaint is that my hair is still frizzy, but I think that might be me. So if y'all have any tips or suggestions on frizzy hair, please, 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 please let me know because it is, it is a mess. <laughs> so I definitely do like this product a lot. I mean, it's it's definitely cool. I like that you don't have to do as much work. But like I said before, I don't think that you need it. I think it is a nice, you know, if you got $500 in your pocket, I mean, maybe, but maybe just get you a curling iron and a blow dryer and I think honestly you'll be okay. Um, unless you really want like the non-damaging side of it, I do, I do like that. It doesn't, my hair does not feel damaged. And I mean, like I said, like it doesn't put as much heat and then you're still having to cool it down to set it. So that's really helpful too. Um, yeah, but that's pretty much it. I mean, I might, I mean, blow drying aspect of it and the straightening part, I do really like the curling I probably don't need, but yeah, that's just me, so. But yeah, don't, a lot of y'all are probably a lot better at hair than I am, but I definitely try. So yeah. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you want to keep watching me and just see more content from me, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And if you hit the notification button, it'll let you know the next time I upload the next video for y'all. So let me know what you guys want to see next. I am pretty open right now. Obviously, we're going to be stuck here for a hot minute, you know, just at home. Try to embrace time with the loved ones that you have with you close or just try to call a friend just if you need some, you know, somebody to lift your spirits a little bit. If you want to call me, you can. If you have my number or if you want to hit me up on Instagram, that is totally cool too. I mean, we're all going a little just shelter crazy, I guess. Um, I guess, you know, yeah. Thank you guys so, so, so much for tuning in today and just checking out this video. I know it's been a hectic time right now in the world, but I am praying for all of y'all. I am sending y'all so much love. Thank you so, 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 so much for all the people that have hit me up to see if we're good. Um, Junior and Sergio and I were great. Everything, everybody's healthy in my family right now and I'm very, very thankful for that. Um, if y'all have to go out, please, please, please be safe. Cover up, wash your hands, of course. If you need anything at all, my door's open. Just, I'm a phone call away. I hate to see people struggling right now. So if y'all if y'all need anything at all, please, please, please hit me up. Like I said, thank you so much for tuning in. You know how important time is to me and how precious it is to me. So I am so thankful that you guys took the time just to watch me today. So, um, like I said, if y'all have any questions or comments, concerns, please hit me up. Hit down, hit the comments down below. Um, anything like that, just, you know, hit me up. So, love you guys so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for watching me just mess with my hair and try to not butcher it. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much. I can't wait to see you guys next time. Bye.